Hi Minecrafters, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be doing, um, playing like, I guess, Game of Boy 80 in Bed Wars, because he's good at Bed Wars, I'm, I, I guess I'm okay at Bed Wars. Enjoy! Basically, what I did is that I went on to Game Boy 80's channel and tried to find, and it took a really, really long time to find a Bed Wars video. came up with is that there's three main parts to his to his gameplay. Number one, easiest part of this whole thing, is just rush fast. Just just eat just just bridge over to the other t team and just and just destroy them in PvP. Easiest part. So that's quick rush. Next part, you just you you just um you just hoard everything, like everything. You just you just go into like mid and then just completely loot everything. You get like iron armor, iron sword with sharpness on it, um, pearl, ev everything, ev just everything. And then number three, again, another easy one. Use your well to just completely win the game because the whole point of the quick rush is that you get to your opponent's base and like they hit you with like their sharpness one diamond sword and it just does one heart of damage and you just attack them and their whole health bar just declines so that's a strategy i'm gonna test it out in some solo bed wars we have Glacier as the map. Not my favorite map, but it will have to do. I was hoping for like Airshell. Airshell is a very good map. By the way, I'm also using the um, texture pack that he uses to just really, really capture the spirit of his strategy. Now the reason that sometimes this happens is because I'm using this mod called Snap Look. It's really helpful. It's basically just F F F5. I don't what. Okay, finally I pick up I picked up that piece of wool. Okay. But essentially I can just press the F5 and it immediately lets me go. Normally you have to scroll you have to go through one perspective, like you have to go to the back and then you have to go to the front. Yeah, you, yeah like the when you go to like the first one, which is this one, you have to scroll through it and you really just want to use F5 to look behind you. So it's just, so then it's a lot easier to just like, when you're running, just look behind you. So if I'm running, boom, look behind. Now this is actually perfect first rush. That's the first, actually the first one to eliminate someone. And I actually kind of tried to copy his inventory like layout. As I said, I'm really trying to, to make this work because, well, um, I, I don't, I really don't know, but this is, I, I want to have a large, large win streak. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm like the most stacked in the game right now in, ter in terms of diamonds. So I'm going to go to mid, I'm going to just get stuff. Now, in a lot of his videos, he gets obsidian. Now, personally, I never get obsidian, but I tried it like today, like I did one practice game. I didn't really use this strategy. I just went for rushed obsidian, and obsidian's super helpful. So this should be pretty nice. Because no one can get your bed if you have obsidian. Now there's another round of emeralds coming soon, but I've learned that if you wait around at mid too long, everyone's just gonna rush you and you're gonna die. Now I'm actually just, this is a bit slower paced of a game, but it doesn't really matter since I'm just going to, because I'm going to just rush everyone soon. 
Now what he does is he TNTs like his own bed and then places the obsidian down. I'm just gonna put the obby down and immediately cover it. Now this texture pack I like to say is very good. I'm definitely going to be using it even not in bed wars or in like outside of this video. It is actually very good so far. Let's collect some okay. Aqua's collecting emeralds, and what I've noticed from his videos, I'm kind of just fanboying him over him at this point, but what I've learned from his videos is that you just don't want people to collect the emeralds at mid. Oh, and he was a final kill. Okay, why was he running around mid? Okay, I'm, there's another round of emeralds coming soon. I'm just gonna pocket these. I'm gonna get a singular invis. Because it somehow still works on people. I don't know how. I'm going to get sharpness. Now, honestly, I'm just getting a stack. There's someone inked to my... Oh, wait. There's two people inked to my bed. They think that they can get the bed. <laughs> they... You thought. You thought. You thought. Okay. They cannot... No, blue team cannot learn of my obsidian. Well, blue team's a final kill as well. So if I get them there, I won't have to worry. I will only have to worry about gray. This is actually perfect. I'm gonna get heal pool. He doesn't get heal pool, but I personally just like having heal pool. Now let's just get. Actually, I'm just. This is speed po. Okay, I don't have this. What do I not use? Heavy stick. Let's go to potions and put that. Oh, do we have a? I don't have a new trap. Okay, let's get that. But speed jump, that's like the ultimate combo. Now, if this dude's smart, he should not try to try to keep his bed alive as long as possible. But s seeing as most Bedwars players aren't that uh bet seeing as most be ah. seeing as most Bedwars players just like to try to win the game as fast as possible he's just gonna try to bed trade with an obsidian pickaxe in haste which i will not allow come over here i'm going to you are going okay he avoided the ends i think that was not on purpose actually but we're gonna pretend it is because we don't make fun of people on this channel so he intentionally voided so so that i couldn't kill him and get the emeralds which is a good play on his part. Let's just build up right here. And let's actually, let's actually drink the potions right here. Now, is he gonna let me pass? Okay, interesting decision there. Oh, he didn't let me pass. But with the speed, we can just combo him and kill him with some wool. I'd say that was a pretty successful first game. Let's see in the next one. Now, I didn't actually decide this like beforehand, but I decided I'm just gonna do three games of this strategy, since why not? Now actually this this strategy doesn't really work well on this map, so I'm gonna skip it, but actually on second thought, um, even though it doesn't seem like it's gonna work on this map, I feel uh, I feel like, um, I, really, I honestly don't know what I'm trying to say. I cannot talk. I honestly feel like if it's if the strategy works very well, it should just work on all maps. Maybe not all maps, but majority. It certainly seemed to work on Glacier, which was surprising. Someone already disconnecting. Interesting, interesting decision there. Now he actually Game of Reality actually likes to rush pretty fast, and he also likes to get the high ground on his opponents. It seems to be working here, seeing as they just cower in fear while I bridge over them. And he tries to get with the, the easy kills. Okay, they're questioning our abilities. I guess I am. I guess I'm so good. Okay. Oh, am I able to kill the person here? I am. Why did I suddenly? What was that sound? Okay. Now it certainly seems that just trying to rush as fast as possible is working. Now he doesn't always go mid. He. I've studied like the lighthouse map games he usually doesn't go mid unless necessary and i'm gonna buy it which seems to be the best combo because 
now I know where my bed's gonna be taken. I'm not gonna get obsidian all the games. Okay, the red is, n oh, they just bed traded. I think I can get some final kills here. Now, my bed is pretty vulnerable, so I have to watch out. But I think I can get the kill. Oh, bit of a weird movement there, but I get the kill. Okay, now red is heading mid right now. I think I should just head back. Is, okay, wait, who's on the side? Wait, I don't think anyone, okay, wait, green was, was incoming, but they, but they decided not to, but they decided not to come for us, instead opting for the tactical void. Okay, interesting. We're seeing a lot of tactical voids in, in these games, which is really, really a bit of a heated argument going on in the chat. I'm trying to fuse the situation. Okay. Now, I'm actually a bit worried since I don't have as many diamonds as preferred, but it is, I think it's, I, I did a quick tactical void. Okay, they're heading over in that direction, green is. So I'm going to, so I'm going to go on this direction. Now, one thing I am worried about is that red, oh, red just got killed by, by green. Green might actually have the emeralds now, which is a bit worrying in terms of, of like my safety because, because he's now over there and he might come from my bed with some invis. I'm gonna prepare for that really quick by getting a, more blocks. Now what may I get here? Nothing. Okay, I see him placing blocks in the distance. I'm hoping that he doesn't have any emeralds on him. It doesn't seem like he has, he has purchased anything yet, but who knows, he could pull a potion out soon. I'm just gonna bridge above him. Now he seems to be building up. Let's hit him off. Ooh, I got particles. Oh, he dropped down, interesting decision. He could have bridged past me, but I secure the win in this PVP encounter. Now, the shortest route is, I believe, through mid. I'm going to, I'm gonna go mid. I'm a bit low on health, but I should be able to just run through mid and get to blue. And he might actually think, okay, where is, where is green? I, is, I see green here, actually. He seems to like using fireballs, which is, which is which can sometimes work but i barely win but fireballs sometimes can work but in this case they don't seem to be working out for him i'm actually going to take a page of his book and take and purchase two fireballs because he seems to have no bed defense which was interesting decision an interesting decision on my part i fall in the void now i actually did get rid of the bridge which might slow him down but he disconnected, it seems. Maybe he fell in the void. Now, already this strategy is seeming to work. I didn't think it'd actually work on like lighthouse and stuff, but I am, I have been so presently surprised. Let's head on to the third game, which is on, which is on Nutcracker. Now this is an interesting map. I believe this is actually called Apollo, but this doesn't seem like, it doesn't seem like the strategy will work since you kind of do have to cross over to another um like generator to get the diamonds but i guess we should just quickly rush like we did last game and hopefully just take over okay they seem to be going for the no no bed defense strat which i do say is very bold of them but i purchased the shears i don't know really why but i haven't bridged over yet but i they seem to try to hide behind this candy cane over here interesting strategy now i can actually see part of the player so 
So if we just go over here, now they actually have the high ground, so that was very smart play on their part. But it seems I can win against them in the PvP P department. So I can I can head back with two M with two diamonds. Now it seems that there already has been been one elimination, which is a which is not the greatest news since it means that I am not rushing as fast as possible. But at the same time, there's nothing I can really do about that part. But it seems, but I am trying my best. Now, I have lost my bed right now. So I will have to head middle quite soon. But I seem to be better at, than him in PvP. So let's just, so let's just, oh, that was unlucky. That was quite a sad vic um, loss at the end. But I did secure two wins out of three, which in my with it, which in my eyes is a very good score for this strategy. I would definitely have to try the strategy out in my regular games. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in another one. Bye.